Well, good day, tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. So uh, we are going to do some more on this 800 today. I did myself go ahead and put all the valve train back in, uh, the lifters and stuff, sorry, and all the uh, all the uh, lifter arm rocker thingies, whatever you want to call them, uh, push rod thingies. <laughs> They're all back in. Um, I did all the uh, gapping to 16 thou. Um, it tells me in here, and I just can't 100% remember what page it was on. Uh, let me see if I can find that here. Okay, adjust, adjust to 14 to 16 thou. And I went to 16 just to leave a little bit extra room when it heats up because that'll probably get a little narrower in there, right? So uh, they're all set to 16, but I noticed one of them has, and I think maybe it's my ticking noise. And I don't know if it's something in the valve system here, the, the lifter system, but uh, let's get a tripod. We'll see if you can hear it. I think it was this one here. And it might actually be um, the little lobe cam thing down there. It could be the cams, maybe a little wore out and it's maybe hitting on the little lifter thing. Um, I got this back in. What I did to try to tighten this up is I wedged in a piece of fuel line right in there because it seemed to still be kind of loose in there and stuff. That's the, uh, the oil gets pumped from down below up through here and then runs all through and then drips down and everything. I still don't know how you get enough lubrication on the actual valve stems for the seals or the, oh my goodness, the valves through the uh, valve guides, but uh, somehow it does work. So, but let's grab a tripod and we'll set you up there and I'll crank it over real slow here and you'll be able to hear something ticking here. Okay, I could kind of feel them as I was turning them with the crank here and I believe it was one of these. I can't really remember now, but. It's not doing it. It's doing it a little bit. I can hear just a little faint tink, tink, tink. And uh, let me crank it here while I. Uh... So, one of these two here, I don't know if you can hear that through the. The compression coming out of the spark plug holes, but it's definitely a tick in there. I just don't know what's going on, but anyways. Right. Feel it stronger up here. This one right here. That one's ticking it's really strong on this one here. You can really feel it tick, tick, tick. Well, that's weird. I don't know if it's something to do with the oil line or something's wrong in here. That must be near top dead center there now. Got my little light out. Right at the very top there now, so that's interesting. I want to see if I can see when it's actually doing that. Make sure it is that one. So I always, I always said I could hear something ticking back here. That's this one. I don't know if I can get you any closer to be able to hear that. Let me see if I can get you in closer. May not hear it, but it's definitely something here. I wonder if I went a little bit tighter with this one. Could definitely feel it stronger on this one. And that is a, uh, that's an intake valve. Yeah, that's the exhaust on this side. <sighs> well, you might not hear it over the whoo, whoo all the, you know, going here again. It's like when it comes down, it's definitely a 
in there, I can feel it. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, isn't that frustrating? It's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. But let's get her back into, uh, let's get her, mm. <laughs> Let's get her back into the top dead center there as best as we can. So that's exhaust, intake that should be coming up to the top of the stroke there now. All right, that piston, you can just see it in there, is up there now. So let's just make sure we are there. Come on, baby. <laughs> okay. I think we're there. Yeah. I go grab my wrench and my feeler gauge. And we'll just see where it's sitting. Yeah, that should be top dead center there. Okay. Okay, we got the 16 out. That's pretty good there. That one's pretty good. I wonder why that's ticking. There's got to be something going on down below here, like in the bottom of the engine where it actually pushes off the cam. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go a little tighter with it, I think, so just to see if I can get rid of that noise. 14 at the absolute tightest. Okay, well, we'll get a, a 14 out of here. Uh, 16. Where am I going here? 16. 14. Oh, okay, so that should be big in there now. Yeah, very large. Okay. So we'll unloosen the lock nut here. Can I get on there with this? Hmm. <clears throat> we'll unloosen that. And start tightening this down here. 14. Doesn't take much of these coarse threads. Okay, that's a tight 14. I just want to kind of see what happens here. If we lose that noise or if it's just something wore out underneath maybe. Ooh. Okay, snuck that down. It's tight anyways, so that's where we're gonna try it. We'll zoom you back out here and then I'll see if we're getting the same noise. I just don't think it's the valve tapping on the top. <laughs> try something else. We'll take this right off. I don't think I'd get that that thing right out of there. No, it's not going to come past. I just want to see if it makes any kind of noise now. It's not really got any pressure to it. seem to. Well, that's interesting. That's 
That's really interesting. Hmm. Well, let's go too tight. Like, let's put it down to uh, let's put it down to maybe ten thou. One past the golden, golden ten thou. Let's put it to ten to see what happens if we get it too tight here. It's actually right bang there pretty well. That's a tight 10. Very tight 10. <clears throat> very, very tight 10. Now let's see if we get a noise back. like when it drops back down like it's sticking or something a little pusher thing down below there but okay well mm, get her back intake compression should be there so. about there let's get her back here and see it's pretty close there Hard to go down the line. Well, right about there. Okay, well, I don't know. I guess we'll just drive on. It's like I say, I'm not gonna put millions of miles on it, but definitely something going on inside there. So we'll go back to 16, 15, 16. Zero, one, six, okay. snug but it surprised me that they didn't put some finer threads on these to make a finer finer adjustment oh, it's actually a bit loose That's pretty good. The other ones aren't in position, so we won't check them again. But. Okay, that's, I guess, all we can do there. Um, yeah, i got to clean up the uh, edge here really good, because I'm going to probably glue the lid back on. And I think we're going to put the manifold on today, too. All right. So I'm going to give this... Uh, Wipe with some brake cleaner here, just to get any oily residue off. Actually, carve in a little hatch mark there. Which is kind of neat, because the gasket's supposed to mush into that. A bit of that extra paint off. And then, we'll get the uh, lid. And uh, I was going to replace this gasket, but I think I'm just going to use it again. I'll give it a good cleaning too, though, to get any 
potential residue off and then I'll just give her another little little silicone in. And I think we'll be all right. Gonna get her jammed all back in though. Okay, she's clean. I'm just gonna give her some of this. Uh, I used all my black up when we did all the other parts on this, but I got this red stuff too. It's high temp. Should be should be good, I think. I'm pretty sure it's okay for oil and stuff. I don't really see on here. It says more on the actual package, but maybe I'll read the package first, just in case. Okay, yeah, that's what this red stuff's for: is uh, valve covers and oil pan gaskets and stuff. So. Oh boy, I think this was the way it went on. <laughs> uh, pretty sure that's the way it went on. That should be good. All right. So, now, got these washer gasket thingies. That we. And there actually is a torque value for these things too, surprisingly enough. And what nuts are in here? Got a whole bunch of nuts here. Not them ones. Fine thread nuts. I don't think there's any washers on them. Okay, I will look up the spec for torquing those down because I don't know. Okay, so 120 inch pounds, or uh, oh, hang on a sec here, where did my things go? Uh, five little crankshaft, main bearings, manifold, five little crankshaft. I just had it here. What did I do with it? Manifolds, governor, oil pan, oil pan, oil pump. Valve, push rod, chamber, cover. Valve, rocker, arm, cover. So the, the bottom one, this is the uh, rocker arm cover, and the bottom one is the uh, push rod cover. It's a bit tighter. So this one is 10, 8 to 10 foot pounds. So I'm going to do this with my inch pound one. So I got it set to 120 inch pounds. So this sounds like a lot, but it's not really a lot. Because these covers, you can crush them pretty quick. I'm not sure how you get this to tighten on here though, whoop, because you're pushing against a rubber grommet basically. Oh, I thought that would have been lots. Holy smokes, I think that's too much. But that's what they're saying, I got it set. I wonder, I'm gonna drop this down a bit and see what we're kinda at. Here, that should be 70 there. Now yeah, there's 70. Wow, I don't know, that seems awful tight, boys. There's 70. Those seem awful crushed down to me. Wow, so there's... There's 90.
I gotta leave it at 90. I think that's plenty. That's more than plenty. I'm leaving her there. Look how crushed these are. I don't think you're supposed to have it that takes. This will actually crush itself in, right? That's probably pretty good. I got our silicone up pretty good there, so. I think we'll leave her at that. That just seems way, way too tight to me. Okay, that's on. Let's get the uh, manifold ready to go here too then. Okay, I guess we're ready to open up the uh, manifold here, except I got one little problem. I didn't get out to get some of these. Uh, Oh, this one's totally screwed up. I'm gonna try to get this stud off of here. Huh. I didn't get out to get any of these. Uh, I wanted to replace the 716 National Finds on there. I never did get to get them. So, I won't be screwing this right tight today, but uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll be all right. It's not that, uh, it's not that, uh, Cold out right now, or it's going to make condensation and a mess in here. So we will get this on and studded, anyways, with some uh, Loctite Urgh. thread locker stuff. Yeah, I forgot to get those fine thread. I could probably use the old ones, but for some reason I'm actually missing two of them. I don't know why. There somewhere, but well, we'll just peel all this off and get her ready. We won't be probably sticking her today, but what I might do is uh, do a, well, I'll go get some nuts, say that tomorrow, and then we'll just continue on here with the same video here. Okay. Great big stud holes. Very nice. I probably should wipe that off with something like a brick cleaning towel. So it's a really nice surface. Very nice, okay. So, we've got some studs here. And, oh, I misplaced these things. They came in uh, that pack with the head. Oh, they go in nice when they're new. Okay, we've got a brand new little mini $15 tube of Thread locker blue. Because you don't really want these coming out again. So we'll crack that open. And I didn't clean these things, but I don't think that's going to make a monster difference. I'm just going to thread them in like that. I don't know why thread locking stuff is so expensive here in Canada. Eh? It's just brutal expensive. The big, the big like jug of it. Holy man. But it's something that you really should kind of replace every once in a while. That's why I only get the small ones. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Just give these a little 
Wesen. You should really have a double nut thing to jam them in more, and I could probably do that, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that part of it. Those are being there pretty good now. They'll lock in. Then the manifold's got to go on the course, which we're kind of not ready for right now because I didn't get nuts. What a nut. Oh well. I'll get some nuts here and uh, we will continue on with this install. Should be all good. And what was that for? There's a hole here and I can't remember what goes in there. Hmm. It's one of this end too. Hmm. I don't remember, but I do have to get this out of here. So hopefully this one lets go. We'll have to maybe, maybe do that now. All right, let's see what we can do here. Might need a pair of vice grips because I think this is just kind of sitting in here. Yeah, we're gonna need some more plier machine things. I've got a pair of a pair of these here, but I doubt that'll give me enough grip. Oh, right on the floor. No, oh, I'm gonna have to get more grip. Okay, let's see if this has enough grip. Oh, I'm gonna go tighter. Or get that set up, I guess. Oh, my mama! Holy smokes! Oh boy! If I go the right way, that'll help too! I was just trying to loosen it going tighter. Holy smokes, that's on there, good. There we go, she, well, just come right off. Okay, that's done. Wasn't held on by much and the threads, I think it's going cross threaded anyway. Terrible, what a mess. Okay, I don't really remember which one this was on, but I think it was on this one on the manifold. Manifold, that's on the outside. I need nuts. Darn it. Seven sixteenths fine thread. It's like it's like them right there. That one's on there pretty good. I might be able to sneak it off. It kind of looks like someone's been in there before. Uh shall focus on that. Yeah, see the grippy marks. <laughs> someone's had her in off. Ah! Seven sixteens. Oh, that's not the right one. Uh, that one's on the floor that I need. Wah. Great big old five eighths. Yeah, just holding on enough there that you just couldn't turn it off. And these great big flat washers too. There we go, that's all we need. Six of those new ones. Yeah. I think we'll get six of those new ones. All right, day two, we got nuts. Look, I got a whole bag of nuts. Nuts. And uh, there we are, brandy fresh new ones. Should be good for these things. Nice and golden even color. That won't last long. Holy expensive. Specialty store, 93 cents a piece. Holy smokes. <laughs> Breaking the bank. So, um, let me think here now. I gave this a nice cleaning. I buffed it with some uh, uh, Scotch Brite pad stuff. And uh, then I gave it some brake cleaner. Seems like it was a little dirty. Here's the gaskets we've got, and uh, I've got two sets of them. And uh, I think I'm going to use these gray ones. I think either one would be fine. They both have the metal in them. Uh, yeah. I might 
be all right. Like that and like that. Pretty well-ish. Those don't line up perfectly though. Interesting. These ones are a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger sized, I think. See so when I'm lining up the. Wow, these don't line up very good at all, actually. <laughs> Maybe it'll go on better on the tractor. We'll have to look at that, but I don't know if you can see, but these are lined up here pretty good. These two in the holes. But then this one's, well, it's not terrible bad, but it's off a bit. Hopefully this manifold's all right. But uh, I believe these are both the same. If I can get them a little bit better there and yeah, they're off a hair a bit I don't know if you can see that or not but which one's off now though I don't know Ooh, I don't know if I like that because there's a little bit on the end here that's whoa stop I don't know they're all supposed to go that way but uh yeah, they don't line up much better that way either, so I think I'm just going to go with these ones. What I'd like to do is... Usually you don't put any silicone on these things, so you don't want it to kind of put a bead in there and it could get sucked in, right? So I don't think I'm going to silicone this at all. We are going to go and get this mounted. Give her bud. Get mounted. And... Uh, these gaskets here, I guess I'll use. And if there's ever a problem, I have another set. So that is good. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're all ready to go. We got the nuts. We got to figure out what torque for these. Probably five or six thousand. And uh, yeah, that should be awesome. So I might spray on some of this onto the gaskets. That might help a little bit too. It's good to 500 Fahrenheit, and it's going to be kind of warm at the exhaust here, but uh, that uh, it says here, uh, where did I see it? Uh, cylinder head gaskets, carburetor gaskets, exhaust manifold gaskets, and other high temperature applications. So I'm going to maybe use some of that. Got to get that going, though, to get them kind of tacky. Okay, we got some gaskets ready here. They're still a little bit wet. I might let them tack up a little bit more. They're pretty mucky though. Um, okay, so this should go on that way. It's going to leave them kind of air dry a little more there. And this one should go on. Woo. That way. And this stuff stays a little tacky actually. It doesn't actually harden. Alright, that should be good. How are we looking roughly here? Looks pretty good here. I mean the holes are off a hair a little bit. They're not bad. You know, it's off a little bit. It's kind of bowing a little bit, so I guess you'll find some centering somewhere. So how? Uh, I think I'm good now. Okay. So we'll set these right back in. Ooh, interesting. Hmm, it's a little tight on this end here. I don't know if I can uh, scrape a bit of that out of there to make it fit a little better or not. There's metal in these, right? So it's not so great.
because the studs are a bit wider than the threads, right? So it wants to push on there and then it kind of not right. Well, not a lot I can do about her now. Oh, even this one's really tight. Quite got that one down yet. I wanted to try that other gasket just to, just to make just to see. All right, let's just see how this one fits. It's like perfect, of course. So why are these ones off? I wonder. That's weird. <sighs> well, I don't like the way that's fitting, so I'm gonna tear this one off of here again and go paint these ones, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. Gonna let them sit on here. That's, that feels better. Those holes are a little bigger on these ones, I think. Interesting how they change. And this one. Those are a little bit wet yet, so I'm gonna let them sit there and just get a little bit tacked up more. Okay, I imagine that's probably pretty good. We'll push these into place here. Oh yeah, that's way better. Way more better. All right, we'll grab the manifolds, very heavy. Very heavy. Very, very heavy. And I'm just gonna set it in place. I'm gonna fit there for a second. Um, okay, we need uh, some flat washers. I've got them here. We got the torque wrench. They want 40 to 50 foot pounds. So I got it at 45 ish in and around there. I just put the uh, temp probe back in. Well, that should be all good to go. This thing is going to be okay, put those on, oh those washers are too big, I'm going to have to shave them down a little bit I think, that one's alright, that one's good. They are a certain size for in there, I guess. That one's good. That one's good. Oh, so, I need uh, hmm. one for there and one. That one's good. But that one is not. Got it stuck. Now it's on the floor. Um, okay, so that's not good. I've got one of the old ones here. I guess we'll have to use it. This must be a little bit smaller diameter. That's good. Now these, I don't know exactly how they're you're supposed to torque these when you can't get a torque wrench in there. Well, you're not gonna get it in these back ones. These one, two, three, four you might get. But you're not going to get them in these ones here. You'll just have to wrench them, I guess. Forgot how tight these were in here. It's not the funnest thing to try to get. To try to get in there. Boy, boy, you don't want to cross thread them. Okay, what do we got left? One here. Uh, 
Oh, darn it. I gotta get this bracket on here, too. Which one did it go on? It doesn't seem to fit now. So I'll put it on that one, maybe. That doesn't seem right. There is a, it is that one I think, because there's another hole in the, in the head here for this to mount to. It doesn't feel like it's fitting right there. It's probably got bent. And that's to hold the, uh, oh, the governor arm there. Well, that's not gonna really work, is it? Ow. On there, it's not gonna fit. I don't think there was one in there, honestly. Not that I remember. Because if that's on there tight, that still works, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll go with that if I can get this nut on here. Holy smokes, that's a tight fit in there. Oh, I got it though. <laughs> okay. So we'll start torquing, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit at a time. It's already on there now, so. Holy smokes, that's tight in there. A long, long way to go. Actually, it's tight against the thing here yet. Four clicks at a time. Okay, we'll just do this one here a little bit. If I can get on him too, be nice. down here I guess. Oh boy, maybe not. <laughs> That's probably why these things leak because nobody ever gets these the right torque. My guess. Okay, well we'll start on this one now and just go a little bit. Do 
this one. Man, I'm over here sweating like crazy. It's not even that hot out. Okay. Let's see if I can get some more on this one. <clears throat> Just can't get it from up here. There's no way you'll get in there. Get a small socket up in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Let's see if I get a small socket. It might make it a little easier. Uh, Eleven sixteens. Nope. Nope. You're not gonna. Oh, maybe I can. I guess. Holy smokes, that's a tight fit. No, I can't get that one. So that sucks. Yeah, probably finished torquing all these on now. Let's see if I hold that here. Yeah, I probably got that in there anyways. Crack the uh, that one come up pretty good. You don't want to crack the uh, casting, right? So I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna go grab some dinner and we'll give them an extra check. After we set compress for a bit. And no starting up today, no start off to try it. I'll tell you why. Oh, well, I don't have a fuel tank on to begin with. I don't have any coolant in it either. And I actually ordered a new radiator for it. <laughs> Believe it or not, I thought, you know what? Might as well. While we got her apart, might as well do that. So I'm gonna have to get this one off at some point here and uh, get the shroud off. Might paint it up. Needs a little bit of work on the bottom straightening and maybe a bit of welding back together but uh, probably paint it up too and then I'm gonna leave it off for a while the new one while we uh, tear this front end open here and uh, have a look at that seal on the front see where all that oil is coming from so that is about on now I guess we could probably see if we can fit hose back under here. Whoop, almost knocked you over. Now why is that so... Uh, I think I gotta loosen this over here again. Maybe. 9 16s. Uh, I bolted the uh, battery box on and it's kind of all attached to this thing. I don't think it's got to move a little bit yet. I don't know whether it will much, but... Might help a little bit. I don't think this is sitting any differently here, but maybe it is. Here 
I'm gonna have to adjust the other tube because I don't think this is gonna fit in here now. Interesting. Okay, we were successful. I had to push it up a little higher. Don't know why. <laughs> now we'll just uh, tighten this down here as best we can. I wish I had the right size clamps for it, but uh, that's all right. Should be good. I can zip those off, I guess. And then up here, I had to uh, push that up on the little stack here a little more. Which is interesting. I don't know why that would have done that. Should be good. All right, I'm gonna have some dinner and uh, we'll let this guy sit, and then we'll check the torque when we come back. All right, dinner's done. Yummy homemade sausages. Oh boy. Should have done a video when we did that. That was fun. I'm gonna check the torque here. Yeah, they took a little more, didn't they? much but a hair bit but a bazillionth of a turn let's see if I can maybe just pull on these a little more that's pretty good oh I don't know if I get that one now that I put all this thing together a little more finagling here maybe or not. That got pretty good. All right, I'm happy with that. Started getting the radiator off up here, but uh, I'm gonna have to cut the one bolt off because where it goes through into the radiator, the support, it's actually spinning in there, so that's no good. I'm not going to do that tonight, though. I think that'll be it. Now, let's just check. It's still working, functioning there. Um, I guess while we're in here, we can hook on the little linkages. Or should I? No, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't yet. Not that one, because we're going to take all that part off there on the front eventually. Um, yeah, so leave that one off. The uh, throttle linkage, though. Uh, choke linkage. Hook it up, I guess. Okay, that should be good. Good. Linkage is on there. But yeah, the uh, governor arm and lever stuff, that's all going to have to probably come off. Uh, I don't know what shape the governor is on this, but let me show you where it is. So down here where this linkage is, it's all hooked to the throttle and stuff. So when it starts to lock down, it pulls the open more, right? And your throttle bolts oh, almost fell off, all, all hooked to there too. And that goes way down. And it's kind of buried inside here. There it is there. See that fall that arm down, right down, until you get into there. Not gonna focus on that, is it? Nope. So that's in behind there. I gotta take all this off. I'm gonna have to block up <coughs> somewhere here, not under the oil pan, but somewhere because I wanna take this whole front bracket off here. This pin too. I've got a pin coming and uh it's the pivot pin there. I got a pin coming and the uh, bushing for it and it's supposed to screw into there or something hopefully it does <laughs> i think i can see the bushing in there see the bushing right there and that's the, the pin it's kind of hard to show you that right now but that is that so anyways well there's the manifold on that's good i guess 
Um, I can't remember now what this hole is used for. I just don't remember. I know this one here is for the uh, alternator bracket on the front. Well, that's good. And uh, now I'm gonna bolt there somewhere for that. If not, I got lots of new ones. 5 16ths, I think they are. Something like that. And uh, yeah, that should be good. I just gotta figure out where we're gonna put the support for this thing. I guess just back here on the transmission probably would be uh, the best place to support the whole front so we can take this whole front off. Fun. <laughs> and I think I might take the balls off of here on the fronts and not maybe back there and kind of mess with those ones again. I think that might be the best. Uh, and, and I guess I could unloosen them things and get these things off and then got to get her support though because you do that and it's pretty much not much holding it after that. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So I imagine I'm going to find a lot of worn out parts all through here and stuff whenever we get into that. Oh man, what a mess. But uh, there we go. That's it for that little project for that, I guess. And uh, we've got the manifold on. She's all torqued down. And uh, i got a radiator, like I say, coming. You know, we just did a nice dream tube. But I thought, ah, you know, i got the hood all off. And it's all right there for all it's really worth. Let's, let's put a new red into it. So we have to get that uh, shroud off. So we'll clean that up and repaint that, too. So a little more work yet to do. Fun, fun. But anyways. That is it for today. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the refurbishing of the old 800 here. And uh, hopefully there's not much else after that. I haven't really got anything in from, you know, engine back yet to look at. But hopefully it's all right. It still does need a hydraulic fluid change. Should have that done. And uh, then we should be all good. Get this uh, O-ring or uh, seal on the front here figured out. And uh, see where it's leaking from. I'm sure we'll be able to tell as soon as we start getting our part. Lots of fun. Holy smokes, eh? Alright, well, that's it. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.